Quartzite's located in western Arizona at the intersection of U.S. Highway 95 and Interstate 10. This remote desert town has a population of 3,700 and it's 8 a.m. on Saturday morning. What's up with all this traffic? Well, Quartzite has evolved into one of the world's largest RV gathering places with over 2 million winter visitors. They come from all corners of the world to explore the desert and its history, the shopping, and of course the great winter weather. All kinds of specific interest groups meet here. Various RV clubs, ham radio operators, and off-road enthusiasts plan events here. It's a great place to meet people with similar interests as well as keep up with old friends. The town got its name from nearby deposits of the mineral quartzite, but you should know that the spelling of the town doesn't match the spelling of the mineral. A spelling error when the post office was built in 1896 added the letter S to the name. It turns out Quartzite has always been a place for gatherings. Early Native Americans met where Fort Tyson and Tyson Wells were later built to barter with other tribes. In the 1800s, pioneers and then prospectors headed for California, stopped for supplies before continuing along the historic Bradshaw Trail. Newly discovered mineral deposits brought stores and saloons to support the mining activities. Prospectors started selling their finds to mineral collectors from vehicles and wagons along the side of the road. These early rock and mineral vendors were eventually given specific selling areas that's evolved into one of the largest swap meets in the world. There's more to see and do around Quartzite than just the swap meet. Special events like the American Indian Art Expo and the Quartzite Quilters display their craft work. The Desert Bloom Rally for ATVs and off-road vehicles and the Tough Masters Golf Tournament are just a couple of events open to anyone interested. A popular shop is the Reader's Oasis Bookstore with its exceptional selection of books for every taste. But the store's flamboyant owner, Paul Weiner, is another reason many folks stop by. When we visited, Paul was wearing his traveling clothes, but he changed into his work outfit for us. When we're in town, we agree with this sign. If you haven't been to Silly Al's, you haven't been to Quartzite. The most visited location in town is the gravesite of a fellow named Haja Ali. Nicknamed High Jolly, he became famous as a camel driver for the War Department's experiment using camels for freight service in the Southwest. Though the Camel Corps experiment was deemed a failure, High Jolly's memory lives on here. Heading north out of town, you'll find the RV pit stop. Dry campers can fill with fresh water, use the dump station, and refill propane. So, where do all these people stay? Many camp at the La Posa Long-Term Visitor Area, just south of town. This 11,000-acre Bureau of Land Management area offers winter season camping for a nominal fee. Its facilities include handicapped accessible vault toilets, water, trash dumpsters, and dump stations. There's even commercial water and septic pumping trucks roaming the area for those looking for the ultimate level of camping convenience. Dome Rock, Skadden Wash, Road Runner, High Jolly, and Plumosa Road are the five free BLM camping areas around Quartzsite. These popular camping areas have a maximum stay of 14 days. They offer shorter-term visitors the same desert camping experience of the long-term visitor area, just without any facilities. And topping off the list are over 40 commercial RV parks looking for your business. If you explore the desert around Quartzite, you may find this historical site 11 miles from town. 
It's thought to have been built by General Patton's Camp Bouse troops during World War II to aid aerial navigation. It's just one of the many things to see in this Arizona desert gathering place. If you'd like more information about camping in Arizona, please visit our website.